My Grapefruit and Rose Martini, a bright citrusy cocktail that achieves sophistication from the flavor of rose. Orange liqueur and ruby red grapefruit juice sweeten the vodka to make this an all-around cocktail favorite. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV Cocktail Friday. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, I've got a really special cocktail for you. It's a little unusual, a little bit sophisticated, but it's delicious. Today, we're going to make my grapefruit and rose martini. Sounds pretty awesome, huh? Let's get started. I have my glass. This cocktail starts with a flavored vodka, grapefruit and rose. And this is the kind that I get. There are many makers of this out there on the market. So if you do a little search, I'm sure you'll find it. It's the key to this entire drink. But if you cannot absolutely find it, the grapefruit and rose, you can just use regular grapefruit vodka. It won't be as complex, but it'll still be delicious. We're going to start with two ounces or 60 mils of this vodka. All right, in our glass. Next is Contru. We've used this a lot before. It's orange flavored liqueur, a little more complex than triple sec. So I prefer it for cocktails like this, but you could use triple sec. I just prefer the Contru. For this, we need a half ounce or 15 mils. Right in. And you probably guessed, Grapefruit juice is next. I have some ruby red grapefruit juice. This is pure grapefruit juice. No added sugar, no added anything. You could do this with fresh, but you can always find this in uh, the stores when you can't find fresh grapefruits. So we just need one ounce or 30 mils. Right in. Kind of an unusual color, huh? Now my little secret trick to this is a little bit of grenadine. We just need half a tablespoon, which is like a quarter of an ounce. It's just a few drops. And this is going to give color. Maybe a tiny bit of sweetness, but really more color than anything. Watch already. That's pretty nifty. Now comes our favorite time. Shaker full of ice and the shaky shaky. Here we go. All righty. All right. Now I have a chilled coupe glass. This is another type of martini glass or champagne but I like the shape of it. Quick chill with some ice and water. I'm gonna double strain this. I don't want any ice crystals in it. And using not only the Hawthorne strainer, but a fine sieve, we'll get all those little ice cubes out of there. What a beautiful color. Now you see, we caught all those little ice crystals in there that would normally be in this drink. I want this to be a smooth, smooth drink. Now I'm gonna garnish this with a nice Supreme of red grapefruit. Now, if you're wondering what the Supreme is, well, I'm gonna go over that in a basic skills episode coming up, but it's just a way to get a segment of citrus fruit. And we're just gonna put that on the rim, just like that. How beautiful. Is that not stunning? Now, I'm gonna to have to give this a taste. And I'll tell you, we had a lot of fun creating this recipe and it's gonna be very tough for me not to just drink this down all in one swoop. Here we go. Hmm. I love this more every time I try it. It's sophisticated. That's the only word I could say. 
you get the grapefruit and it's a little tart, slightly sweet. It's not so tart that and bitter that you're, you know, going, ooh, can't do it. But the flavor of the rose is in the background. It hits the back of your palate and it makes you go, ooh, what's that? Let me have another taste. It's just bright and wonderful and exciting. Perfect for spring and summer, which is coming up fast. Alrighty, I will see you on Tuesdays for our regular episodes and Fridays for basic skills or cocktails. And tune in on Sundays for our live streams. Now, while I uh, go have some private time with this martini, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, cheers.